And what is going on, you guys? Day three of me being here in Jamaica. Whew. And with how everything been going. But come on now. Hold on, I'm messing up. Oops. All right, there I go. Day three of me being here in Jamaica. Yeah, y'all, it's been a blast. Today, I'm gonna be doing the bamboo rafting, hanging out, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna be just chilling here at the hotel, really enjoying the beach and everything else. And even, I gotta make my reservation for the Sakura restaurant. That's like the, that's like the uh, Hibachi restaurant here. So yeah, I gotta make my reservation for that. But today, we about to go get some breakfast. I missed breakfast yesterday, and on the car ride to the Rasta Safari Experience, my stomach was growling so much, but they fed me on the experience once I made it there. All right, so listen, now let's I used to go get some breakfast. All right, so about to go enjoy the pool or the beach for a little bit. Get in a little bit of these rays. Try to decide either get in the pool with the poolside bar or just and go and uh, just and go enjoy the waves of the beach. I think I'll do the beach. <laughs> it's nice, but there's a lot of people here at at the pool right now. water was nice it was just them damn rocks so like throughout like the first part of it right here it's nothing but rocks but like once you get to like out there and stuff it's cool but the front part of the beach nothing but rocks got the bottom of my feet tender but i'm about to go dry off and like change because my uh yeah my taxi about to come pick me up now All right, y'all, and well, here I am out here on the bamboo raft. <laughs> Every time I do something here, it's so peaceful and serene. This is nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, <nah>, not today. <laughs> She was saying sugar baby. She like she called me sugar daddy. What I like a sugar baby. Who knows? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was able to take off the vest. Now he said I could. <laughs> I can enjoy this all day. Plant. Mm. Yeah. And you said you've been doing this for 30 years? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Do you ever get tired of it? Uh, some, day. <laughs> some days. Some days. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well. That's that on there, the bamboo rafting all over. It was great. He's going on about his way. I think they load him up at another point. Got more folks coming. And now I just gotta find my driver. <laughs> mm. Now I'm about to head back to the uh, hotel. And now tonight and going in tomorrow is just gonna be straight chilling. And now it looks like they're having some type of foam pool party. So I'm gonna head on down there. I'm gonna find a spot somewhere.
pool time was fun. It was fun. Now I'm just chilling. What's up? So I'm back, about to eat. I'm at the restaurant called uh, West Indies. I guess this, this is gonna be like the real Jamaican food. Seafood chowder. Of course, gotta drink the rum punch. Yo, what's up everyone? It's the next day and it's the last day here in Jamaica. Well, technically tomorrow is my last day, but I'm also flying out tomorrow. Like tomorrow is when I'm leaving. So today is technically my last day to enjoy and have fun. I already booked my reservation for the restaurant Sakura tonight. That's at 6.15. And right now I just been chilling. I had breakfast and everything. And I might go down there to the pool area or I don't know, go bowling or to the gym. Like today is just a chill day. Like it's strictly just to chill. And I don't know what else to do. And yeah, those are some shirts and shorts I get hanging out on the balcony to, to dry. <laughs> or I might go to the beach. Or I might go over there and like, hold on, let my finger get, yeah. I might go over there to that, let, to that little shack. That's a jerk chicken shack that's open to everyone. Huh. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, like I said, today is an extremely chill day. Yeah, I'm going to chill for a little bit and then we're going to get to the restaurant. So let's go outside and socialize with some people. And it was at this moment, I in fact did not know I fucked up and what I was about to get myself into. I ain't gonna lie y'all, I, I almost thought I was about to have a moment where a couple was about to try to recruit me because this white guy just came up just talking to me and I'm just like, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, like I don't roll like that. And it's like, they would not take the hint. Like I don't, I don't roll like that. Oh uh, yeah, cause at first it was the older guy, I guess, which is like either a father or oh uh, my um, camera. We don't work like we don't work we don't work like that. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> no, like and they would not leave leave me alone. I can't believe they oh, tried really? to do that. No, like first was the how old many guy. ladies? Huh? How many ladies? It was two ladies, two, two guys. Two oh yeah, we love camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot, the camera love you too. Yeah, we don't work like that in Jamaica. No, and crazy Even part is, folks warned me about it, but I didn't think that it would actually happen to me. It will. And also, thank you for being the life of the party. It is indeed my pleasure, anytime, anywhere. Unique in the building, big up wherever you see me. Yeah. And unique sister, straight out of Coral Spring, but guess what? We have the vibes one anywhere we go. So look on to it. One bar team, one, one entertainment, entertainment team, one right. family. Right, you. Okay. I'm glad I came here for my birthday. I, of course. When was your birthday? It. It's tonight at 12. Let me get you something. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my family about this. When, when, when the cup on his head can is in top. Kaya man, just yeah. good time and positive energy. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. One time for the birthday boy. Two time for the birthday boy. Three time for the birthday boy. Knock it up, cause it's a birthday boy. Knock it up, cause it's a birthday boy. 
Happy birthday to you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank good you. vibes. Anytime, man. Good vibes. Mm -hmm. And I said good energy. You're with the right people. Mm -hmm. You're with the right girls. There's mm -hmm. no way you can I miss. I don't want to leave. Yeah. You don't That's how good the vibes is. You don't need all right, so look, y'all. I'm back in my room now, okay? I am back in my room. Y'all, that was so fucking uncomfortable. Them white folks was actually trying to recruit me because it's like he came up to me just striking you know, up conversation. I, like, I, like, seriously, I just thought he was talking. Chatted up for a bit. He walked off. I'm still sitting in the poolside. He comes back like some minutes later, and he's asking me questions like, uh, like, yo, am I here by myself? And this said, and the third. And he said, I should come have dinner with them. I said, no, sir. No, thank you. I'm good. Like, I'm good. This time, a few minutes later, two more people come walk up to me. And they, like, sit next to me. Another guy and a woman. But this time, they're younger. Because the first guy, he was older. Like, you know, gray beard and everything. But these were two younger folks, like, mid to late 20s. They come sit next to me and the guy striking you know, up conversation, the younger guy, he striking you know, up conversation. The other woman, I think, was actually his wife. And, uh, yeah, they striking you know, up conversation. Even they said, like, you know, hey, you should come have dinner with us. I'm like, do these motherfuckers think that just because someone younger come, I'm going to jump? No, no, no. Y'all, I'm... I was so... And what's crazy is my sister sent me TikToks before coming on this trip that something like this could happen. And it did. But I just kept telling them, like, oh, like, oh, uh, yeah, man, like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You know, they didn't ask it directly, but I know, like, that's what they was wanting to lead up to. Like, I know that's what they was wanting to, to lead up to. And then, so, you know, uh, a hotel staff, staff member was walking by just asking casual, like, hey, is y'all cool? Everything good? We about, we about to get ready to shut down the pool. And I was like, I'm gonna use that as my opportunity to get away because I was like, hey, yes, uh, I need to ask you something. I need some information about something. And I walked with her like over to the uh, uh, bar. That's where, you know, you met the girls that was with the camera and stuff that had on the blue shirt. Hey, the one in the blue shirt, I saw her when I first came here to the hotel. Y'all, bro, she damn near makes me want to stay. <laughs> She's so pretty and built nicely. No offense if you ever see this, but yeah, thank you for saving me because I was so uncomfortable. But all right, I'm about to get dressed, head to this dinner reservation that's on the hotel, and then I guess I'll pick it up once I get ready to leave out tomorrow to head back to the airport. Say <laughs> so what? Plus, I'll jump here, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, for happy this evening, we have sushi and salad and crab. The whole thing for you guys. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna walk around and take the guys have you guys on along with your debit order. That's cool? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Somewhat, somewhat. Okay, somewhat. we're gonna make the dance a little bit easy, alright? Yeah. Everybody gonna go like this. Everybody gonna do this? <laughs> wow. Hey, give me that. Hey. And good morning, YouTube. It is now officially my last day in Jamaica, and it's also December 13th, which now means it's now your boy birthday. Yes, I'm officially 30 years old now. Oh my god. Oh well, 30 and feel good, living life. That's all that matters. But y'all, Jamaica has been so much, so much fun. I'm glad I took this solo trip to come out. Mm. Ooh. Ew. 
Oops, sorry about that. Nose was itchy. But yeah, like I said, I'm glad I took this solo trip to come out. I'm so, so glad. Like, sometimes that's what you got to do. Live your life. Go do things yourself. Like, go by yourself. Go live life. Because if you try to wait on others, and and like I said, no offense to my friends or nothing, you know, I know everyone had situations going on or it's like, you know, things was happening. Hey, I understand. But if you can, go travel and do things on your own. Work on that social anxiety and, hey, have fun. Live your life. Will I ever come back here again? Oh, most definitely, because it's so much more to do here and it's so much more to experience. Yeah, but I'm about to get ready to go check out. I've already booked my shuttle to come pick me up. That's going to take me to the airport. That's about a 40 to 50 minute drive, depending on the traffic. So let's go ahead, head to the reception desk and wait. And I get it with y'all as soon as I start boarding the plane. I'm at the airport now. I'm going through check-in was pretty easy. I guess probably because it's a Tuesday. Uh, oop, sorry, I have a little bump. Yeah, but I guess since it's a Tuesday, check-in was way easier. The lady was saying, uh, I checked in my bag. She was saying that I'm going to have to grab it from Customs in Charlotte or like take it through Customs in Charlotte. I, I don't know. I guess because of my souvenirs and stuff, they're going to have to check it. But now I'm just waiting. I'm here like several hours early. I got here early because I didn't know if the lines would be longer than that. But I'm just here now. Uh, so I'm going to get back up with y'all once I touch down in Charlotte. All right, so I'm back in Charlotte now. Just had to go through Immigrations and Customs. That was quick. Like, that was quick on, like, when I first got to Jamaica. But, yeah, got to grab our bags again and recheck them in again. And then they'll send them on to where they got to go. And we back in Memphis now. Just had to wait forever for baggage claim. They was taking forever with our bags. My bag is completely wet. Shoot, it's been raining nonstop in Memphis for the past week. T here to pick me up, so I'm just trying to see where she at. She was in short-term parking. This lady wasn't letting no one stop at all. So I'm gonna try to call and uh, find her real quick. But yeah, we back. I done found her. I'm looking for a red Camaro. She didn't tell me that she's in her mama car. And just like that, I'm back home. And all right, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this series of me being in Jamaica for my 30th birthday. So all right, y'all, I'll see you in the next one.